Hi, Matthew here, and I'm going to be talking you through this Leaving Cert Maths question. Let's get into it. We're going to look at question 4, which is a 30 mark question. So question 4 tells us that the straight line 2x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0 intersects the circle x squared plus y squared plus x plus 12y minus 29 equal to 0 at the points a and b as shown. So then question 4 part a, which is worth 10 marks, wants us to find the coordinates of the points a and b. So it may not be obvious here what you have to do at the start, but whenever you want to find out the point of intersection between a line and another line or a line and a circle, you do simultaneous equations. It's easier when you have two lines because when you have a line and a circle, one of the equations is non-linear. However, we can still do it, and that's what we have to do here. So our two equations are 2x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0. So I'm going to write that as 2x plus y is equal to 5. And then we have x squared plus y squared plus x plus 12y minus 29 is equal to 0. So I'm just going to move the minus 29 over to the right-hand side so that the constant is on its own on the right. So here we have one linear equation and one non-linear equation. So we know that the top equation there is linear as it has no exponents, so there's no like x squared or y squared. So to solve two simultaneous equations where one equation is non-linear, you write the linear equation with one variable in terms of the other. So basically you have x equal to everything else or y equal to everything else. So that's what I'm going to do here. So we had 2x plus y is equal to 5. So I'm going to move the 2x over to the right hand side so that I get y is equal to minus 2x plus 5. And now I can sub in minus 2x plus 5 for y into the non-linear equation and then solve for y. So that's going to give me x squared plus minus 2x plus 5 squared plus x plus 12 by minus 2x plus 5 is equal to 29. As I said, I'm going to solve then for y. So the x squared will stay as x squared. And then minus 2x plus 5 squared will give me 4x squared minus 20x plus 25. Then we have plus x. And then 12 by minus 2x plus 5 is going to be minus 24x plus 60. And I'm going to bring the 29 back over to the left hand side so they get minus 29 is equal to 0. And now I can add all the like terms together. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with the x squared. So I have 1x squared plus 4x squared, which is 5x squared. And then the x's. So I have minus 20x plus x minus 24x. So that's equal to minus 43x. And then we have 25 plus 60 minus 29, which is going to be equal to plus 56. And that's equal to 0. So now we have to factorize this expression, which is a quadratic trinomial. And we can factorize this as 5x minus 8 times by x minus 7 is equal to 0. So now we can put both individual brackets equal to 0. So that's going to be 5x minus 8 equal to 0. And x minus 7 is equal to 0. And now we're going to solve for x. So on the left hand side we get 5x is equal to 8. And then x is equal to 8 over 5. And then on the right we get x minus 7 is equal to 0. So therefore x is equal to 7. So we found two values for x. And now we have to find the corresponding y values. So remember y is equal to minus 2x plus 5. So we're going to have to put in... 8 over 5 for x and see what we get for y and then put in 7 for x and see what we get for y and there we'll have our two corresponding x and y coordinates. So the first thing is going to be when x is equal to 8 over 5 which means y will be equal to minus 2 by 8 over 5 plus 5 which will be y is equal to minus 16 over 5 plus 5 which gives y is equal to 9 over 5. So therefore the first coordinate is 8 over 5 9 over 5 and now the second coordinate is going to be when x is equal to 7. It's going to be y is equal to minus 2 times by 7 plus 5 which is going to be y is equal to minus 14 plus 5, which means y is going to be equal to minus 9. So therefore, the coordinate is 7 minus 9. So therefore, we have our two coordinates, a and b, so 8 over 5, 9 over 5, and 7 minus 9. So now we've found the two coordinates, 8 over 5, 9 over 5, and 7 minus 9. We're going to have to label now a and b. So we're going to start off with the 8 over 5, 9 over 5, and both of these are positive, and both coordinates are positive in the first quadrant, which is where the a is which must mean that that's a, and then 7 minus 9 is b. So that's our answer for part a, and now we're going to look at part b. So part b is worth 10 marks as well. So part b wants us to find the area of the triangle AOB where O is the origin. So we have a formula for this in the formula and tables book on page 18. So it's this formula here. So it's a half, and then times by the absolute value of x1 times by y2 minus x2 times by y1, when x1, y1, and x2, y2 are the two coordinates. It's important here that the the third point must be 0, 0. So you have two vertices of the triangle, then the third vertex must be 0, 0. And we are told here that one of the vertices is the origin, so therefore we can use this formula. So our three vertices, or the three points on the triangle, is going to be A, which is 8 over 5, 9 over 5, O, which is the origin, so 0, 0, and then B, which is 7 minus 9. So now we're going to label 8 over 5, 9 over 5 as x1, y1, 
and then 7 minus 9 is going to be x2, y2. So our formula then is going to be half times by 8 over 5 times by minus 9. And minus from that is going to be 7 times by 9 over 5. That's going to be a half of, so 8 over 5 by minus 9 is going to be minus 14.4. And minus from that is going to be 7 by 9 over 5, which is going to be equal to 12.6. So minus 14.4 minus 12.6 is minus 27. So it's going to be half the absolute value of minus 27. The absolute value of minus 27 is just 27. So therefore, it's half 27. And that's equal to 13.5 square units. So that's the answer for part B. And now we're going to move on to the final part of the question, C, which is also worth 10 marks. So here we're told that there's a point on the line AB, such that the area of the triangle BOP is a quarter of the area of the triangle AOB, where O is the origin. So we're told that there's a point P on the line AB, such that the area of the triangle BOP is a quarter of the area of the triangle AOB. Remember, O is the origin. So now we have to find the value of x by letting the coordinates of P be equal to x and then 5 minus 2x. So the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to work out a quarter of the area of the triangle AOB as we know that it's going to be equal to that. So the area of the triangle AOB was equal to 13.5. So a quarter of that is going to be 13.5 by 1 over 4. And that's equal to 3.375. So therefore, the area of the triangle BOP is equal to 3.375. So now we're going to write down the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle. So that's the three points on the triangle. So we have B, which is 7 minus 9. O, which again is the origin, so 0, 0. And then P, which is X, and then 5 minus 2X. So as we have one of the vertices on the origin again, so 0, 0, we can use the same formula as before. So 7 minus 9 will be X1, Y1. And then x5 minus 2x will be x2, y2. So we're going to use the formula and put it equal to 3.375 and then solve for x. So it's going to be a half and then the absolute value of x by minus 9 minus 5 minus 2x by 7. That's going to be equal to 3.375. And that's going to be equal to a half of the absolute value of minus 9x minus 35 plus 14x equal to 3.375. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the fraction on the left hand side and this will give me the absolute value of 5x minus 35 is equal to 6.75. So now to get rid of the absolute value sign we can square both sides or we can just put plus minus before the 6.75 and that's what I'm going to do as it's a bit easier here. However if you want to square both sides that will also work as well. So it's going to be 5x minus 35 is equal to 6.75 and 5x minus 35 is equal to minus 6.75 as it's the absolute value, we don't know if the x is going to be positive or negative just yet. So we're going to solve for x on the left hand side first. So we're going to plus 35 to both sides. And then I get 5x is equal to 41.75. And then dividing both sides by 5, I get x is equal to 8.35. And now on the right hand side, I'm going to again plus 35 to both sides, which will give me 5x is equal to 28.25. And dividing both sides by 5, I get x is equal to 5.65. Now, x cannot be 8.35 as it's greater than 7, which is the x value of b. So that must mean that x is equal to 5.65. So remember, p was equal to x and then 5 minus 2x. So that means that p is equal to 5.65 and then 5 minus 2 times 5.65. So then 5 minus 2 times 5.65 is equal to minus 6.3. So therefore, p is equal to 5.65 minus 6.3. That's the coordinate of P that we had to work out for part C of the question, which is the final part of the question and the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching and I hope I helped.